Welcome back to the channel, my name is Abom and once again we are back with Chelsea and Football Manager 2019 and in today's video we have our first Premier League game of the season and it is a big one to start us off. And we start off with a huge match on the Friday night and it's Liverpool versus Chelsea to kick off the Premier League, what a way to start stuff. Hopefully we'll start off with a good result but we're starting really tough, one of the toughest matches I think we'll have all season. Before we get into the video, I just want to say how nice it is to receive comments on my videos. I get them now and then. I'm, I'm, like, I'm used to getting sort of every every couple of videos, every few videos. I'm getting a good sort of two or three comments per video at the moment. And that's the best thing about my content at the moment. It's good to be getting views and it's good to be getting new subscribers. But seeing comments in my video is the thing that makes me happy, if, happiest of all of my videos because people are interacting with each other and interacting with me. That's the best thing about my content at the moment is the fact that I'm actually getting, you know, a good couple of comments per video, which is really nice to see us. So do keep that coming. Thank you for the continued support. And I will try to make the best videos I can for you. Last episode, we did secure our first piece of silverware of the campaign as we beat Manchester City on penalties in the Community Shield. It was a... Uh, a mistake to give City the lead, Phil Foden scoring, and then David Luiz converting the penalty. And then in the shootout, we uh, completely dominated it, 1-4-1. Not a lot to tell you about off-screen. Um, no matches played. We're just jumping straight into the next fixture. Although, I have actually signed a player. And the player that we've signed is the Spanish striker, Rodrigo, from Valencia. I don't know if I've overpaid or not. £42.5 million initial fee. If he scores 20 goals this season, we'll have to pay them another £5 million. I don't think it's terrible. I think we've done okay. He's valued at 53 million. He's on 120,000 pounds a week. Four year contract. I don't think that's too bad. I wasn't sure if I'd overpaid, but I, I think that's probably about right for a La Liga striker. And he looks decent as well. Technically very good. 15 dribbling, first touch of 14, good passing, good technique. He's a brilliant off the ball. He's got a good work rate, physically very good pace, and pace is just great. Agility. Uh, elite striker, fairly professional. Uh, hopefully, we've got a good player on our hands here. And I think, I don't know if I'll go with two up top. He can play sort of anywhere up front, really. He can play any role. So maybe going two up top with uh, him and Morata, the, the Spanish duo up top, might be the way to go. We'll wait and see. Good thing is, we do now have all of our players back from their respected holidays, although uh, players like Eden Hazard. Uh, not match fit at all. So uh, I think we're going to have to try and ease him in a little bit, much like Chelsea have in real life this season. The first sort of two or three games, Hazard didn't start. So I think Hazard uh, will have him on the bench for the first couple of games. And then once he gets some fitness going, um, he'll start starting some matches. But we have all our players back. The only injuries are to a Van Hinkle, a player that I don't really see myself using, and then a couple of youngsters. Other than that, we're looking really good. The window is closed. I did try and get a late centre back in, but I kind of ran out of time. And uh, we did, didn't did end up selling any players, although there were a couple of offers. Zabra Costa are also uh, subjects of a couple of bids. So uh, we um, did have some interesting players, but we are um, we are pretty much as we were. So then, Liverpool versus Chelsea. Bit of a rivalry now for the past sort of 10 years or so that's kind of developed a competitive rivalry, not so much a local one. Klopp is one of the managers that does have the worst opinion of us, so that's no good. Uh, now for the team, this is what we played against Manchester City. It wasn't a pretty game, but I don't think we did that badly. Okay, so this is what we're going to go with. We're going to go with that 5-2-1-2 formation. Morata and Rodrigo both playing up front. Morata as a complete forward. Rodrigo as uh, the new pressing forward, which uh, replaces defensive forward. We're going to see how this goes. Again, I'm still very much experimented with this tactic, but this 5-2-1-2 with the vertical tiki-taka is what I was planning at the start. Cesc Fabregas is playing in behind the two strikers as an attacking midfielder. Jorginho and Kovacic behind Fabregas, the midfield two. Marcus Alonso and Victor Moses at wing-back. Uh, the back three remains the same from the Community Shield. David Luiz, Rudiger and Azpilicueta playing in front of Kepa in goal. The subs bench is a bit different though. Christensen, Emerson, Drinkwater, uh, Eden Hazard, Pedro, Willian and uh, Olivier Giroud on the bench. Hazard and Giroud both very much lacking in match fitness. And uh, we'll see if we can give them a run out, but... I don't know if we'll need to use them or not. Uh, guys like Barkley are going to miss out. Loftus-Cheek, Cahill, uh, Kante as well. I think he's at 62%. It's going to be difficult. We've actually got a lot of players. And I think now that we have players back, we can l work out who's expendable. I think pre-season, because we had so many players that weren't available due to your holiday and due to like the World Cup and stuff, it was difficult to know which players were expendable and which ones we actually needed. So... I think any sales will have to wait till January and then finally by then 
will have worked out who we want to keep and who we want to sell. Because we've got a good four or five first team players that are going to be out of contract at the end of the season. Guys like Pedro, um, Drinkwater, I think, uh, Fabregas. These guys might be able to do a job for us and it's going to be a, sort of a testing few months for them to see if they're still up to the job. So we're going to submit the team. I'm interested to see what Liverpool's team is going to look like. Jurgen Klopp, of course. Uh, I'm expecting like a 4-3-3. I'm expecting some big players in there. But they might have the same fitness issues we do. Uh, they don't really. They've got a very strong team. Allison in goal. Back four of Annie Robertson, Virgil van Dijk, Joe Gomez and Nathaniel Klein. The midfield three of Fabinho, Naby Keita and James Milner. And then Mane, Salah and Firmino up top. The uh, attacking trio that caused so many problems last year. Uh, the bench as well, very strong. Uh, Mignolet, Moreno, Lalana, Sturridge, Shakiri, Alexander-Arnold and Wijnaldum. This is going to be an interesting game. Against the team that I support as well. Go out there and give these fans their money's worth. That's a good team talk. That really works for the rivalries, the fierce rivalries or the local rivalries. Okay, we are underway at Anfield. This is going to be one of the biggest tests of our season like overall. So if we can get off to a good start here, then hopefully it will sort of let us know how the season's going to pan out. Four minutes into the game, we do have a throw in in a good position here. Milman with the header away, but it gives it back to Alonso. Here's Rudiger and Moses. Moses making a run. He's uh, been forced out wide, but can he put a cross in there? He can. And that's a goal after four minutes. And it's Rodrigo on his debut, taking just four and a half minutes. Fantastic start. Moses with a good cross in the end. £42 million, and he took four and a half minutes to score a goal. Moses cross. And then the glancing header by Rodrigo. Allison didn't really do well in goal there. And it was, uh, I think, Van Dijk who missed the header. Good start to the game. Header forward by David Luiz. Here's Alvaro Morata to Marcos Alonso. Kovacic, who didn't do well against Man City, but hopefully he'll have an improved performance today. And that's given away by Cesc Fabregas. Now Firmino for Liverpool. Moses with the interception. Back to Rudiger. Gives it back to Victor Moses. Is he Nigerian? I can't remember. I was going to say the Nigerian, but I couldn't remember where it was from. Kovacic. Moses again. Rodrigo. And, oh, God, that was close to going in. I thought it was going to lay off Morata then, but he went for it himself. And we've had a, a good start to the game here. Really good. Although the, uh, the shout's not gone well. I'm not very good at these shouts. I thought I was, but a lot of the time they're getting frustrated. I went for encourage, which I didn't think was a bad thing to do. Free kick here for Liverpool. Virgil van Dijk's taken it, interestingly, and it's hit the crossbar. I don't know why Virgil was on a free kick, but it hit the bar. Liverpool still waiting for their goal, but as, as I say, Klopp is... Uh, wow, Klopp has just fired them up. I don't know what Jurgen Klopp said, but they are looking up for it now. And there's a goal. Joe Gomez scores from the set piece, 38 minutes. Whatever Klopp just said to them worked because that has really grilled them up. And that's really cool that you can see that now. You can see when uh, your opposition manager is saying something about their players. You can actually look at um, your opposition's body language. Victor Moses has picked up an injury. That's not what I wanted. We'll try and get to half-time. It's another corner here for Liverpool. And uh, it's this time Van Dijk heads it over. Hopefully, we'll deal with set pieces a bit better in future games. Half-time. Uh, Liverpool with plenty of shots. Just a one shot on target for us. And that was Rodrigo's fifth-minute goal. Fabregas has not done too well. Only two passes completed. And we saw him give it away. Uh, Van Dijk missing the header, of course, means he gets a low rating. But again, we'll go for the for the fans uh, team talk because that worked last time. Let's have a look at some ratings then. No one's red, so no one's doing horribly, but there's a 6.2 for Fabregas. Morata's on a 6.3, very average sort of in midfield. We're going to change Morata to the advanced forward. He's just as capable of doing that. Uh, we're going to make Fabregas a advanced playmaker. I'm going to take off Moses. We're going to move Azpilicueta into that wing-back role. He's not too good there. I would like to try and train him for that because that's where I want to play him long-term. We're going to bring on Andreas Christensen in defence. He can play well as that ball player cover, so we'll put him in there. Been forced into a change, which isn't good, but hopefully we will do well. I'm just going to drop Fabregas a bit deeper as well. Let's see if we can help out the midfield. And second half, let's see if we can continue to, um, I don't know, just not lose. I mean, a draw would be good. I'd be happy with a draw at Anfield. That would be a... A good result as far as I'm concerned. I just went get creative and they're inspired. But again, Klopp has just said something and Liverpool are fired up as well. But still just four shots for us. We haven't really created a lot of chances for ourselves. I've gone for push forward as well. In 67 minutes, 
I mean, Liverpool, I dare say, have been a much better team here. And Gomez has just scored again. Two set pieces, two Joe, Go, Joe Gomez goals. I couldn't say his name then. And uh, that's where we've been punished. And <laughs> as it stands, we are bottom of the Premier League. Mo Salah with the free kick. Free header for Gomez. The Chelsea players just didn't defend that set piece at all. They were not challenging any player. Going to make a substitution. 74 minutes in. Fabregas is going to come off. We're going to bring on Eden Hazard. We need some something in that middle. Uh, so we'll paint him in there. Uh, I think Shadow Striker. And we're going to go attacking as well because we're now trying to save a point. It looks like we might start off with a uh, defeat. But two set-piece goals. That's why I'm disappointed. Last 10 minutes of the match. We are going to make our last change. Morata's going to come off. We're going to bring on Olivier Giroud. Let's try something a bit different. We'll go for the target man on attack. Right, I'll confirm the changes. We've got five minutes left to try and get something, but we've had very few shots in this match, and that's why I'm disappointed. Uh, we'll go very attacking just for the lot for injury time. Uh, very few shots in this match, and that's really annoying. I thought we were looking okay, but unfortunately, Liverpool have just outdone us, and Salah has a, a shot. And again, there's a lot of curve on a lot of these shots I'm seeing. Uh, but that's the full time whistle. Uh, we did lead. But um, Liverpool coming from behind with uh, two Joe Gomez goals from set pieces. 28 shots to R5 in the end. Uh, we started really well, but as the game progressed, Liverpool just got better and better. There was a 5.5 for Virgil van Dijk in the end. Joe Gomez, man of the match with a 9.1. Salah with the two assists as well from the set pieces. Performances for us, Fabregas didn't do too well. And you know what? I wanted to sell him. So that kind of um, goes a bit further to him. Maybe going in January. Overall, we really didn't do too well. No one scored higher than 6.8. So it was a very average performance by us. I'm going to say unlucky. It would have been nice to win, but it wasn't to be. So uh, they, they, they've reacted well to that team talk. It didn't go well for us. So that doesn't mean that we sit bottom of the table, but everyone else still has to play their match. So there's not a lot to be said about that. Uh, Moses, just a slight knock. can only be out for a few days. So we should have him back in no time. I think we've got Huddersfield next. And I think the next couple of matches are pretty winnable. So hopefully we'll pick up some wins in those. But Rodrigo gets a debut goal. That's good. Uh, other than that, I don't think he really did much more. He still scored a 6.8, even though he got a goal. So other than that, I think he might have had a very quiet game. But as the pressing forward, um, he got an early goal. But other than that, just didn't really do much. So again, there's still a lot of playing around to do with this uh, tactic and this formation. But we will we'll, we'll keep going with it. Okay, so uh, our next match is Leicester at home. So we'll see what happens with that. Then we've got Huddersfield, then Burnley, then Arsenal. Then we've got Europa League. So uh, the Europa League draw is in between the Huddersfield and Burnley matches. I think when we next meet, I think we'll do our first Europa League group game. And uh, we'll have a look at who we actually draw. We won't find that for a little while. But next episode, I think we'll start our Europa League campaign. And we've got some okay games. Like Le Leicester's going to be difficult. Arsenal away is going to be tough. Huddersfield and Burnley hopefully should be wins. So I reckon if we can get a good sort of seven or eight points from those, I'd be happy with that. And hopefully we'll um, we'll get some more goals and pick up some wins. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, do give it a like down below. Leave comments. I love having comments, so do keep that coming. If you want to see videos as and when they turn up on YouTube, do hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell to receive updates if I upload or go live. Follow me on social media so you don't miss any of my content. I'll see you next episode. We're going to start our campaign of the Europa League. And hopefully next year, I won't be saying that because next year, hopefully we'll be back in the Champions League. Again, thank you for watching and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.